Hey guys, Stunt Double here. This is the Tomcat. It's a 2.5 meter composite sailplane. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but the plan is to convert this over to FPV. So the Tomcat comes from RCRCM. Uh, this is the E version with the motor in the nose. It's made out of glass and carbon fiber. It's a beautiful looking plane. Uh, 2.5 meter wingspan. I picked this thing up second hand off RC Groups for an absolute steal. Uh, I've only flown it once, line of sight, and it's a lovely plane in the sky. Uh, I think it'll be better FPV though. I've actually got the smaller version of this plane. Uh, this is the Typhoon with a 2 meter wingspan. I've had this one for a few years now. Uh, it's got a really hot motor in it. It's a lot of fun to fly. Uh, it always scares me though when I fly it. Uh, the Tomcat is just a little bit bigger, uh, but most importantly, it's got a much wider and spacious fuselage, uh, so it should be better for carrying a bigger battery and also for holding the FPV components. So the plan is to use my trusted combo of the Eagle Tree Vector, uh, Immersion RC, Easy UHF, uh, 1.3 for video, and a Runcam FPV camera. I've already got the camera installed. Uh, I'll probably put the Eagle Tree Vector just behind the servos down here. Uh, the Easy UHF, I can tuck that down the fuselage somewhere. I'm not sure about the UHF antenna. I don't know if I'm going to put it out the top here or behind the wings or even lay it flat along the fuselage. I've never actually done that before. I don't know if it'll work, but it uh, might be best for this plane. And the VTX can go inside the tail fin. Uh, probably put the antenna for the VTX in there as well. There's enough width in there to hold it. And if the signal's no good, I can also put the antenna out the top. The Tomcat will be quite a fast plane, uh, highly aerobatic, and it should be efficient too. It'll be a lot of fun to fly at FPV. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I'll probably cry if I crash it, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, stay tuned for part two, guys. I'll get this thing built up and ready for a maiden.